Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's project. So I got my hands on some of this clay. Um, it's by the brand Staedtler um, and it's called Fimo Soft. What I'm planning to make with this is a series of ring holders. Like I think I'll make three. So at the moment, I have a lot of rings and I see myself getting more. At the moment, they just sit in like a messy pile on a tray on my bedside table. So I wanted to sort of create something nice so they have a little home and they look a little bit more organized. I got the clay in the color 70 Sahara. It's all like one solid color, but I thought to add some interest to it, I thought I'd create some texture. So what I've got here is my paintbrushes and I'm actually going to use the very end of them because they have like a rounded end and use that to like create some dimples just so they have like a little bit of texture. So it says on the front of the packet that to set it, it's oven bake and 110 degrees Celsius or 230 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. All the instructions are knead, shape, and bake FIMO in oven. Do not heat over 130 degrees Celsius or 265 Fahrenheit. FIMO is a craft product, not a toy. Read the instructions before use, follow them, and keep them for reference. Keep packaging for future reference. Okay. So I got two packets and I think they're about $6.25 each. That's Australian dollars. So essentially we can make a few of these little ring holders for like under $15. How awesome is that? So I've got the clay out and I'm going to use the inside cover of a art book I've got. Um, just because the front cover is a bit textured and I thought I wanted to work on a surface that's like plastic so it doesn't absorb too much of the moisture from the actual clay. I haven't worked with this before so I'm just gonna like knead it so it gets like quite soft and workable. At least that's how I've usually dealt with other clay. Is softening up a little bit just from the warmth of my hands. I really like the color it's such a neutral but it's not too yellow not too pink so as you can see the little block it kind of comes in two parts so I've just I'm just using one of the two bits and I've shaped that into a ball now and so I'm just gonna roll it out to create that cone shape fingers are quite small so I'm going to have it quite narrow I think this is way too tall way taller than I want it to be it's like longer than my fingers so I'll probably cut it off there and I actually might get three three little ring holders out of one packet here so I've got my rings here and just to check, um, because I've got a lot of different sizes of rings, I've got tiny ones that just fit on my, like on my knuckle rings, I think they're called, just fit on the middle part of my finger. And then I've got, you know, normal rings that fit down um, on the base of my finger. So I'll need to make sure even the biggest ones fit. And... I probably want it a little bit thinner so that it sits a little bit further down because that's the biggest ring I have. 
I'm gonna roll that out a little bit more. Cool. I think that's good. And then I'll try and make it a bit thicker at the bottom. So I'm just gonna sort of bunch it up, like push it in. Okay. Now that's something I didn't think of. How to cut the clay. I think I'll get a butter knife. Okay, I got a kitchen knife. Only because a butter knife kind of has like little grooves. So I don't really want the clay to get stuck in those grooves. And a kitchen knife will just have such a clean edge to it. Which probably means that it's going to take less to like finish off the base. So... Probably cut it like about there, like about there. <laughs> Here it goes. I don't know if that's too short. That looks really short. Hmm. <laughs> okay, take this off. And now I'm just gonna smooth out the edges. Yeah, I think it's a little bit shorter than I had hoped. I'll give the other half a go and see how we go. Can always redo that one. I mean, first time, so it's pretty good for a first try. I don't know if you actually do need to knead it first or if you can just like get straight into it. If you have lines like formed by like putting two pieces together, I find that like just to smooth them over, you can just use your finger and run like clay along it and then it's nice and smooth. All right, second attempt. Yeah, I like that, but yeah, it needs to be longer than the first one, definitely. So I think about, I think about there, by the time I thicken out the base, I think about there. And just mark that. Let's go a smidge lower, just to be careful. Alrighty. <laughs> it's fun just to be working with your hands again. I've gotten into painting again recently and um, it's just so nice to like have a tactile activity and be using your hands. It's definitely underrated, I think. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think second attempt is a lot better. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with that one. But this one's kind of cool, like it complements that one. You know what, I think we're going to get three out of one packet. I really thought I would need more than one packet, but I don't think so. This is deceiving. It looks really small, but it's actually kind of a lot. And I definitely know these are not perfect, but I kind of like that look, that they're just like unique and like a bit wonky. Is this going to be the biggest one of all? Mm. So I'll probably cut it off there, I think. Okay, a tip for you, always cut longer than you think you want because once you cut it, it just, it's like, where did it go? It's like an illusion. I feel like it gets really short really fast. 
<laughs> All right, that's not quite as short as the first one, but <laughs> definitely shorter than I intended. Okay, so now we've got our three bases. And as I said, they're not perfect. Like there's still a line there from the join. Um, I kind of like that though. I'm gonna keep it like imperfect. I think it adds more interest to it. And we have that much left over. Okay, now the fun part. Time to add some texture. So I think one, I'll do texture on the bottom third. And then another one, I'll do texture on like the top maybe. It's actually quite hard to keep their shape when you're making dimples. Oh, oh no! I've like gone full circle, but when I got to the other side, I'd already made dimples, but I'd like accidentally squished them in with my fingers. That's much harder to do than I thought. And it's just looking a bit mold now. I think I might have to give up on the idea of dimples. That's a nice idea, but it's not working out for me. Oh. You know what, maybe actually not handling them so much is a better idea. is for me <laughs> the dimple look you know what dimples are going <laughs> yep I'm getting rid of the dimples I tried it but yep there we go I like it the shapes are like organic and just because I don't really know what to do with this blob <laughs> what should I do with it should I make another one, maybe? Maybe that'll fit my partner's rings on it. Alrighty, well, I'll bake them. I'll preheat the oven and then I'll bake them for exactly as per the instructions. So 110 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. So I've just preheated the oven for 10 minutes and I've put them on a baking tray just with um, baking paper and I'm going to put them in for half an hour now. This is them fresh out of the oven. Don't mind my bag of croissants over there. Um, but yeah, they don't look any different to when they went in. I mean, that's good, I guess, because they're not gonna get discolored. But yeah, I'll check back in with you when they're cooled. So this is what the finished product looks like. They're up close and personal. And I'll put my rings on, of course, to show you what it looks like. Ooh. Cute! This little one was actually the piece that I had from the end. This one was actually the biggest one and I think I'll let my partner use that, or husband, use that for his rings. 
because his fingers are a lot bigger, so they don't really fit on the smaller ones. But yeah, so really cute idea for like organizing your rings. with how they turned out and even though I tried the dimpled effect and didn't like it in the end at least I tried let me know if you guys give this a go and how it turned out it's super affordable as I said I only end up using one packet so it's like less than ten dollars if you like this video be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up it helps my channel grow see you in my next video hopefully bye oh, 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 oh.